David Belsey, a report out today that details what we have to say are problems in Scottish schools in relation to discipline. What's the experience of your members? The, the, the report captures the experience of our members. We issued a similar report last week, a national branch survey, and it showed that over 80% of schools had violence and aggression on a weekly or daily basis. Some of the stories from, that, from our report chime and reinforce entirely what's in the report being issued today. Have things got worse? Well, things, our, our members are telling us that things have got worse since COVID. Uh, the report today is, tell, is saying that things have got worse since 2016. But I, I think the, the challenges, problems and issues that our members tell us about have certainly got, got worse and they are getting worse. What would you like the Scottish Government to do about this, to tackle this? Well, we'd like the Scottish Government to act meaningfully. First of all, to, st to state how violence and aggression in schools is unacceptable and to push that message out very clearly and follow it up with very clear policies regarding the consequences for pupils who, um, whose behaviour is violent or aggressive on a persistent basis and which the school is, and local authority is currently unable to deal with. There have been reports that the number of exclusions from schools have gone down significantly in recent years. Do you think there actually should be more exclusions, more use of exclusions? That's a difficult question um, because many times the blame is not entirely with the pupil but exclusion is one of a range of tools that schools and local authorities need to use and exclusion needs to come with proper support with specialist units and specialist professional support from psychologists and so forth and therefore yes exclusions needs to be used more often in some cases because our members are telling us that some uh, pupils feel there are no consequences for persistent uh, violence and aggressive behavior what would you say uh, to the minister uh, education minister jenny garuth who we've interviewed today who when we asked her whether there should be a, m a more disciplinary approach she said she did not necessarily think so. She said when she was a teacher 20 years ago, there was what she called a more punitive approach. Now the approach is more supportive. Do you agree with that? Yes, we agree that restorative justice, which is a, a process of engaging with the, the pupil and the reasons behind the, the violence and aggression, is the best way to go. But it needs to be done in such a way there are sufficient staff within schools to allow the time for that process to be carried out. Uh, at the moment, the staffing levels in schools do not allow the restorative justice to work properly. It, it's also said that uh, other factors like you alluded to earlier, for example, poverty it, it, it influences and affects people's behaviour. But even when the last survey was done, there was a substantial number of people from a poorer background. So is it just poverty or is there something more going on here? Well, I mean, we're in the, the realms of speculation, but, but some people have um, set out that the COVID pandemic, the lockdowns, the pupils staying from home, the increase in home working, that's perhaps loosened the bond between parents and schools, uh, between parents and teachers. Um, there's the, um, the dynamics of uh, how children engage or young people engage with others through social media as opposed to one-to-one -one. and also that engagement is now almost an 18 hour a day process via social media where there's no time to switch off. So there is a um, society is evolving, it's changing and the challenges that these um, changes bring about are, are certainly affecting pupils in schools but also teachers and workers in general I would say. David Belsey, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.